Okay, I'm majoring in applied engineering technology and my concentration is mechanical. There's three different concentrations. There's manufacturing, electrical, and mechanical. And uh, I took the mechanical route, so that'd be a lot of design, machine type things. Right now I'm working in security. I'm a security analyst for PJM. So there's a lot of options open to me. What I'll do is I'll analyze and protect the assets of PJM. And what PJM is, is a uh, regional transmission organization. What that means is they control the entire infrastructure of the electric grid on the East Coast. So they're a pretty high value target in terms of uh, terrorism, homeland security, things like that. See, I'm not necessarily doing a real engineering job right now, but I'm taking all the things that I've learned, uh, all the analysis, for instance, one heavily uh, analysis driven class would be thermodynamics. I apply just the principles of how to attack a problem to, uh, to my job right now. We deal with both aspects. We deal with cyber terrorism as well as physical uh, attacks. I work in physical security, so I'll analyze, for instance, how would I breach PJM's campus? What would be the methods to do it? Bombing, things like that. And uh, the other co-op who works right next to me, he deals with the cyber aspect of protecting us uh, in the electronic world. I chose Drexel simply because it has the co-op. For instance, everyone else, and that's, that would be people who don't have a co-op program, they might graduate and they don't have any experience. For instance, when I graduate, I'll have uh, 18 months of experience, real industry experience, and that really sets me ahead of everyone else. My professors, uh, they're, they're awesome. You know, They're always there. Um, for instance, they don't really run office hours. I can go see them whenever I want, ask them about any problems I have, and it's very helpful. The courses so far have been, uh, you know, really uh, technically driven. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but behind me there's robots, and uh, I'm actually teaching a course right now in those robotics. When you come over to the applied engineering uh, technology side, it's, it has it's well-rounded. So that's not to say that we're completely technically driven here. We don't. Uh, it's not all lab work. We also have the theory, but we can also back it up with the lab work. For instance, with uh, electric circuits, we'll learn all the principles that you would normally learn in a theory class, but then we'll come down here to the labs and we'll actually build whatever circuits that we discussed. If a company's looking for someone to handle the operations side, to really be well-rounded, to do, do everything, take things from design to production and manufacturing, uh, the applied engineering side is definitely the place to be for instance, because you have both sides of it. You, we learn all the design and we also learn how to create things. And it's interesting that you talk about that because my first co-op, I worked for Southco and they're a major manufacturer of automobile parts and that is exactly what I did. I designed parts uh, and then I would take them down to the tool room and I would ma manufacture them myself. I would use CNC uh, mills and lathes and then once my part was okay and I was satisfied with how it came out, then I would send it down to production and I would oversee that and make sure all of the bugs were worked out before I released it for full production. For anyone who asked me why I went to Drexel, uh, I would tell them that you know I came to Applied Engineering simply because I got an opportunity to uh, use all the machines that I heard about in class. You know, I, you know, you might be taught about robots, you might be taught about how things are manufactured, but I can actually come here and learn how to use these uh, robots and these manufacturing machines before I go out into industry and I have to learn it in industry. Drexel, is uh, its roots are all over this entire region and uh, whenever I tell someone, oh, I go to Drexel without even missing a beat, they say, so you're an engineer? I tell them yes.